Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Riding on the success of 155 M Bofors gun during Kargil war, Indian Army has proposed Field Artillery Nationalization Program or FARP. The program is slated to replace the weapons of 169 artillery regiments of Indian Army with modern weapon system and 155 mm tote artillery will be the mainstay of the artillery force. As a part of FARP, Indian Army plans to procure 3,000 to 3,600 pieces of artillery in five different categories, regarding which we are going to discuss today in detail. Now, this includes 1,580 pieces of towed gun system under which Army wants to procure ATAX, Dhanush, and Sharan. ATAX has cleared all its trial and is set for acquisition, which could commence by the year end. The initial order will be for 150 artillery guns worth Rs 3,365 crores which will be divided among two developers that is TSL and Bharat Forge. The deal will be split in 60-40 ratio between L1 and L2 bidders. Interestingly, Indian Army has released an RFI in December 2022 for procurement of 150 artillery guns of 155mm 52 caliber. Army prefers the weight of gun to be 15 ton or less. The contenders for this requirement is again ATAX, PARTH 52 and Dhanush 52. During the meeting with the Defence Acquisition Council DAC, chaired by Raksha Mantri Shiraj Nath Singh, which was held on 16th March 2023, the acceptance of necessity for the capital acquisition amounting to Rs 70,584 crores were given for tri services and Indian Coast Guard. For artillery modernization, in addition to the ongoing Dhanush gun system and K9 Vajra T gun system, the acceptance of necessity for procurement of nearly 307 155mm 52 caliber advanced towed artillery gun system or ATAX along with high mobility vehicles HMVs and gun towing vehicle GTVs for Indian Army was accorded by the DAC. The order for ATAX will be fulfilled by two private firms, Bharat Forge and TASL. Now recently, Bharat Forge has confirmed that it has received the acceptance of necessity for 300 guns of ATAX, which means that the order for ATAX will be placed by the year 2023. Now, Dhanas 52 is 155 mm. 52 caliber gun which is an upgraded version of older Dhanush which was 155 mm 45 caliber. Its range has also been enhanced up to 42 kilometers. The gun weighs less than 14 tons and is considered the lightest widzer in 155 mm category. Now since we are talking about Dhanush, so the second regiment of Dhanush that is 18 Dhanush will be inducted by March 2023. OFB had an initial order of 114 guns to be executed. Army is also looking to procure 300 upgraded 155mm Sharan guns. These guns have been upgraded from Army's vintage Soviet origin 130mm M46 stored artillery to 155mm 45 caliber standard with enhanced firing range of 37km and better terminal effectiveness. The Army has already inducted three Sharan regiments and its fourth one is in the process of raising. Eventually, Army has planned to have 15 such regiments. Army has also planned to acquire 814 mounted gun system as a part of its field artillery rationalization program. Now, in April 2021, Army has released an RFI for procurement of this gun system. Based on this requirement of Army, DRDO along with Kalyani Group has started development of 155mm 52 caliber mounted gun system. This gun system has a maximum range of 45 km and is based off on BML next generation 8x8 high mobility vehicle which gives it shoot and scoot capability. Again, on 22nd December 2022, DAC has accorded the OON for or acceptance of necessity for 24 capital acquisition proposals in which mounted gun system is also included. The trials of MGS or the mounted gun system has been going on for some time. The mobility and performance trials of MGS are complete. The standalone firing trials of the armored cabin is also complete. As per latest report, MGS is ready to undergo the strength of design trials. Now let's talk about the K9 Vajra. 
Indian Army has also planned to induct 300 or more K9 Vajras. In 2017, LNT won the first contract of Rs. 4,500 crore to supply 100 units of K9 Vajra under Make in India initiative. On 18th February 2021, LNT had successfully completed the delivery of last and 100th K9 Vajra, forming the five regiments. Now, the next 200 guns, which will be worth around Rs. 9,600 crore, will be procured in two batches, with each batch consisting of 100 guns. Now, as per the report from Hindu, which was published last month, Ministry of Defense had already issued the RFP to LNT in November month. Once it is responded, the price negotiations will begin, followed by which the order will be placed, and this all process is expected to be complete by March 2023. Now, let's talk about the M777 Howitzers. In November 2006, India has ordered 145. M777 Howitzers from US worth $750 million. The M777s were the first artillery guns to be ordered after the famous Beaufort scandal which unfolded in late 1980s. The M777 manufacturer B-System delivered 25 ready-built Howitzers and remaining guns were to be built locally in collaboration with Mahindra Defence under Make in India initiative. Now, as per the most recent report, 110 M777 Hovitzers have been delivered to the Indian Army. Last but not the least is Garuda 105 V2. Indian Army has also shown interest in this gun which is an ultra lightweight go anywhere gun. It fires 105 mm 37 caliber artillery shell with 360 degree of firing capability. It has been indigenously designed and developed by Kalyani Strategic System Limited and can be mounted on any in-service 4x4 wheeled chassis like Tata 4x4 or even Humvee. Indian Army has already carried out trials of this gun at high altitudes and many foreign countries have also shown interest in this gun. It has also undergone trials in United States. In the year 2020, Kalani Group has sent this gun for trials to Saudi Arabia. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.